What's up, Roadie Foodie fam? Welcome back, guys. Today it's chilly in the state of Rhode Island, guys. I don't know what, I don't know how freaking cold it is, man, but it is freaking freezing. A little sip, sip. We're gonna do a mini McBang review here, guys. When I was doing the video for the peppermint chip video, I saw somewhere on the side they're like, it's back tortilla, uh, tortilla soup, and I was tortilla chip soup. I was like, what? Let me find out that they get into tortilla chip soup. Uh, I'm so tired right now. It is cold. If you guys could feel my nose, New England is getting really cold right now. So here's the tortilla chip uh, soup here. All right. Also, obviously, I couldn't get it without some of that. So let me get into this, guys. It's got all the got corn in there, got some beans. They give you some tortilla chips on the side, some tortilla soup here. This is perfect for right now, man. This is the only thing. Let's see if I can. There we go. This is the only thing I want right now. It's perfect for this time of year, especially if you live in the Northeast. Here we go. Okay. Not bad. Obviously, I had to get some of this because I am, when you grow up in a Mexican household, we put limes on everything. But I wanted to try it without the limes. See how we how we were rolling. But it's got a nice creamy sauce. It's got a little heat. Not a lot, but enough to let you know that it's not like uh, chicken noodle soup or something, you know? Mmm. Oh, I concur. That is worth getting, guys. I was trying to see... Um, so when I was in the drive-thru, I asked him, I was like, hey, can this, like... Can I get this as a meal? And she said it comes out... It's actually technically a side. So I got really sad because I wanted this with the Papa Fritas. But I wasn't able to get it like that. But, so what I did is, since we just did... A Chick-fil-A sandwich video, the last one. I didn't want to get another sandwich with you guys. So we got some nuggets. Obviously, with some of our some of our usual suspects here. Guys, I'm like, it is so freaking cold. <laughs> and obviously, you guys know I'm not in my car. My car's uh getting an oil change and new battery and stuff like that. So um I didn't know if like the heat was gonna be on too loud in this. But what I want to do with this is does it dip dip you guys remember that we started that a long time ago does it dip dip but to find out son i gotta finish this soup though hold on or at least a couple more bites mm. all right we'll try one with the regular dip dip first and then we're gonna get into this by the way um the the person that sent me this she said that i can say her name so i do want to thank you don uh for sending those i want to do like go some regular dip dips first guys i mean this honey barbecue honey roasted barbecue i'm not used to this car i'm like hitting my head on the thing here mm. actually hold on Let's get into it, because I only have four pieces here. This is an iconic moment. I haven't had this. Six, seven years. <sighs> Smell it. Oh, it's so unfair that you guys get to have this all the time. Ugh. Oh. I can't wait to make animal fries with it. Don, I love you. So good. So pickly and perfectly. 
Oh my god. You guys, give me a minute here. Uh, like, Luke, this is supposed to be a review of the tortilla chip soup. It is. But we have to take a little detour. Because life is all about detours, familia. Oh, my God. I like, I'm going to save the rest of that. <laughs> I only got 15 packets. I got to spread them out. But guys, again, like I said, this is going to be a mini, mini review, McBang, because it's freezing in here. But go get this tortilla chip soup. Mm. And if you want to eat it roti foodie way, a little limon action on that. Mmm. I almost wish that it came in a bigger, I don't even know how many ounces this is, but I wish that it came in a bigger, bigger bowl than that. That was good. That's a roadie food he recommends right there. All right. Let me get into this, guys. Also, so if you're here for the review, go get the soup. Review part over. McBang time. Family time. Oh, I almost lost it. Hmm. So the only thing I want to talk about today, guys, well, this will be kind of a short video. Is I need to borrow $2.75 million if anybody has it. Actually, with closing costs, probably need like $3 million. Okay. Everyone's like, Luke, what for? And that is such a huge amount to ask for. <laughs> Someone out there has it. So, I'll preface this by saying this. I've been drawn to the desert. The desert is like the last frontier in this world, right? It's basically like you make what you want of it. I love national parks. I love res uh, preserves. I love land that is perpetually going to be untouched in our lifetime, right? Or generations to come. Wildlife refuges. Sign me up. I'm also, when I was younger, I was a little bit of a gamer. I used to play this game called Fallout. Still do sometimes whenever video games, when you get older, when you're younger, it's like entertaining. It's fun when you become a man and you get older and you have job responsibility. It's basically almost like, you know, how some people watch uh, reality shows, right? They watch um, like keeping up with the Kardashians or they do all these types of things. Because it's mindless. You don't have to think. You can turn your brain off and just take a breather, right? So that's how that's how uh, my Xbox was with me a while ago. By the way, I don't know if I'm getting the new Xbox. I like when, when new things come out, I like for them to be out there for a while. Let them fix all the bugs and then I'll jump in. But, so Fallout. So, um, Desert Towns, Ghost Towns, there's just something about, and I love history, guys. If any of you out there watching that know me in my personal life and or also you've gotten to know me through these videos, know that I love, 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 love history. So there's a town up for sale in California. It's in San Bernardino County and it borders uh, Nevada. Uh, Nevada. Don't, <laughs> don't say Nevada around people from Nevada because they'll, they'll stab you. Um a town called Nipton, N-I-P-T-O-N, and it just came up for sale. I've been eyeing this town. By the way, this town was supposed to be the town that I was, it was going to be one of my pit stops on my two cross-country trips that I was supposed to take this year, but didn't. 
But, hold on. Where I was gonna bring a big cooler <laughs> and bring like a hundred of these back home. I was just gonna perpetually put ice in it. Hold on, here we go. Mmm, so good. A little lemon chicken. Or lime chicken, sorry. Mmm. Mmm. So there's a town called Nipton that um, I was supposed to go visit. It's a very, uh, it's like a ghost town. There was, um, it's, it was one of those towns that long time ago was in existence because it was near a railroad. It used to be a cargo and shipping center for ranches and also mining towns. So if you were a miner, you needed somewhere to sell your stuff and unload it and, and sell it, right? Same thing with uh, cattle, same thing with everything else. So this little trading post called Nipton uh, exists today and the previous owners were trying to make it into like a marijuana type town, but they weren't able to um, they weren't able to get it going. They sold the town to the previous owners for 7.7 .7 million. They poured two and a half million into it. I think that's why they're asking for almost a little over two and a half million now, just to get some of their money back. But it's basically this beautiful little eight, I, sh I say little, 80 acre. And it's right next to, it's literally the gateway to the Mojave Desert Preserve, right? Beautiful Mojave Desert. Um, the town has like 10 teepees that people can rent out. Well, obviously, everything is closed in the town right now because of COVID-19. But they have these teepees. Um, they also have these eco uh, cabins. Uh, they have a tiny little hotel. There's like a trading post. There's also a saloon slash like cafe slash they make burgers, beers and stuff like that. And then they also had uh, a couple other buildings. But guys, go... Obviously, no one's going to give me $2.73 million to buy it. But the reason I bring that up is, you know, I got to put it down to the universe. But also, for you guys to go check it out, I think it's a really cool town. Let's say I win the lottery tomorrow. I would probably buy the town, but um, I, w I don't know what I would do with it. And, you know, these are fun little things to always uh, get your imagination going. You know, it's, it's good to imagine things. It's good to uh, just play with thoughts. Um, so leave down in the description, guys. I wanted to ask you guys, what would be some cool things to bring or do at a kind of a desert town? Um, right now it's part of like, you guys know Burning Man, that huge, huge, um, um, festival that they do. It's part of that festival. They have art everywhere, like these huge murals and these huge, uh, statues and huge, like, um, physical art. It's kind of, it's kind of a, uh, an artsy place too. So it's kind of all these things in one. And it's just, there's something about it that kind of reminds me of myself. If myself was a town, does that make sense? I know it's kind of weird, but, um, make sure you guys check it out. It's Nipton, California. Um, I just think it's cool. It's an hour away from Las Vegas um, and the other way is going towards, uh, Los Angeles. So it's kind of these, one, one of these, uh, places in between, a uh, huge metropolis area. So it's really cool. And it has, still has a lot of its charm, but let me know what you guys would do down, you know, is it building a new thing? Oh, by the way, I think the town, most, most of their energy comes from solar. So it's actually energy independent and it has this cool little lagoon. There's a freaking, it's like a little oasis in the middle of the desert. They, they built out this lagoon and they put like, uh, I, I think it's AstroTurf, but they made like this little grassy area with trees to make it seem like it's just, and, and it has like sand, so it feels like you're at a beach. It's really cool, guys. Uh, so go check it out. The tortilla soup, go get that. Don, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for that. Um, get this, guys. And until next time, you know, keep up with the imagination. Put positive thoughts into the universe. And uh, make sure you be well, eat well, and take care of each other.